Linda, why did you put your arms around me that day? I took his hand. We were the last three people in the world. Just leave when you're ready. Mr. Bones. Tomorrow's your big day. Lost, not found. You know, when a child is born, it is the ritual of a father to light up a cigar. Your mother never liked the smell of cigars, cigarettes, but she loved the smell of pipe. So in her luggage to the hospital, she included that very pipe and a pack of cherry tobacco. <laughs> Lit it up the moment I heard, when, when, <laughs> out of your precious mouth. Didn't light it again until the day she died. Who you gonna vote for? Bless us, O oh Lord, for these thy gifts, as long as it's not a tie. <laughs> A lone 10, 11 year old boy found beneath a crab apple tree. Fingernail evidence shows that his last clutch at life is against some evil force. He was buried, hidden by someone, somewhere about 1950. With all due respect, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have a lottery here. A lottery of hope. We have received several hundred correspondences. I'm going to read just a few of them for you. This from an 85-year-old man. I'm 85 years old. My, My son, son has been missing since 1953. I sent him to the store. Always, he cuts through the park to get apples. 
I wonder. My neighbor. My, my best, best friend, friend for, for over 50 years still searches for her brother. Last seen on his way to school. Bet it's Gatefort. He used to play, used to ball, play ball together. I remember the day he never came home. He was my best friend. We used to say the green man got him. What we have is a line of citizens, mostly African Americans, who lost a loved one and never got a chance to say goodbye. What we have is a line of folk who want to be DNA tested. <laughs> so there's a strong possibility of finding out who Mr. Bones really is, who he belongs to. If the Bones had been turned in, say, even 10 years ago, there's a chance it would have been Jane or John Doe thrown into some unmarked grave. But present technology allows us to hope a little longer. From here on, the investigation will focus on identifying Mr. Bones and finding the person or persons who hurt him, who buried him, so that he would not be found. Dash him. I told you I'd find you, son. <laughs>